the problem with the, the visuals of the Occupy movement have been that it is dominated by the kind of people who have time to spend weeks and even months in public places without going to jobs or school. They tend to be professional activists or homeless people. And so the visuals of it, if you're a conservative journalist going to one of these places to confirm your stereotype that these are all you know, people who maybe are not part of mainstream society, you will find it. What has typically happened with successful protest movements in North America, go back to the 60s and, 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 and currently in places like Iran and, and, and other places where you have truly repressive governments, is students get involved. Because students are people who are intelligent, they're mainstream, they also have time on their hands because they don't have nine to five jobs. And more importantly, in a place like Canada, they tend to be the children of the elite. So they, they then go home for the equivalent of Thanksgiving or Christmas or, or whatever, and they talk to their parents who are members of the elite, and they engage with a more powerful generation of people. And so protest ideas have a chance to percolate through the student movement. That has not happened in the Occupy movement. I do think the argument needs to be reframed a little bit for conservatives. If you're talking about income inequality, the big argument on the left is social justice. Most of the people I work with, most of the letter writers of the National Post, they don't care about social justice. And to the extent they care, they say, we take pretty good care of the poor in Canada, especially compared to the United States. The point you have to make if you're fighting income inequality is this. This is about the basic functioning of capitalism. If you have a society where middle class people can't buy the basic building blocks of a middle class life, capitalism breaks down. So if you're a conservative, Absolutely. if you're a conservative, you're on the right, you believe in capitalism, you want it to work. Well, this is what FDR basically said. Yeah. And he why said, Conrad Black loved him so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He you, know, you have to create yeah. the conditions for it. And that's the message I would do. I, my message would not be social justice, because the people who, are, who believe in social justice, they're already on your side. You have to say, if you like capitalism, this is the way to make it work, because if all the money is going to the super rich, there's only so many toasters mm -hmm. they can buy.